Good morning everyone, it's Anissa from Countryside Acres. Uh, today I plan on making some fermented vegetables. It's so quick, it's so easy, and it's so good for us and so healthy for us. So come along with me as I show you a quick and easy way to ferment some vegetables. Okay, so the reason why I'm using the kabuchka in this recipe is just because I left the kabuchka on the counter for too long and when it ferments for so long on the counter, it eventually turns really vinegary. So instead of throwing it out, I thought, hey, I might as well use it for something. Uh, for So fermenting vegetable is a good option. Uh, so is a salad dressing for um, a little vinaigrette. So don't throw it out, you can still use it. I would use up as much as I can and then for the rest I would give to the chickens and then I would leave just a um, about one cup in the bottom again to make a new batch of kabuchka.
Okay, so that's it. That's all. That's all there is to it. After three days of them sitting on the counter, they'll become a little bit cloudy and they are good to eat at that point. They are fermented. So you can pop the lid open, you can eat, it, eat them as you please, or you can just burp the, the jar and leave them on the counter to ferment a little bit longer. Uh, it depends on what you like. We like, well, I like them a little bit crispier. Some people might like them a little bit softer, so you would leave them a little bit longer on the counter. Uh, but don't forget to burp them or the jar might explode because they kind of get carbonized after uh, three days. So there you have it. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy. If you like our videos, please don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification button and uh, it'll notify you when a new video pops up. And also share them with your friends and hit that like button. Take care.